voila or voila um i know i messed up probably not putting the gopro back on to show everything that we ended up having to do but in our original setup we had what's this uh what's this leveler called a leveler. a leveler so we had this leveler hooked up um and it had four chains hooked to it at four corners of the engine and we ended up running into a snag because it was rubbing up on the firewall and it just wouldn't just didn't want to go in there um so we ended up basically using my lucky strap we moved it a little bit it didn't end up going in um but we kind of it kind of gave us a better idea on the on release moving in the right direction so then we ended up just running a chain from these two these two head bolts this one and this one and it was kind of an arch and then we had uh we had the jack underneath the back of the transmission to where it could just roll back as we pushed pushed in on the hoist on the transmission and or the engine and it just kind of just shoved right in there and then we lowered it down into the holes. I mean, we had to manhandle a little bit and you can kind of see the scrapes from where we would, you know, had missed the holes and had to shove it in there. And then you got to hang this header um, first before you can do anything. You got to put that header, run the steering shaft through the middle of the header um through like the through two of the primaries and then two of the primaries run kind of back and gives you like a space to where you can run your steering shaft through uh so then that kind of leaves you at an angle and for some reason i mean i've seen some people they put their transmission in it goes right in um, i ended up having to notch my transmission tunnel out probably looks like about six inches uh, maybe maybe less but right at about six inches uh, so I had to cut that out and then was able to jack it up into its position which is where we're at right now uh, then you put in the the training mount and Tim just finished bolting up the engine mounts you having a hard time there yeah I'm old <laughs> But we got it. Um, Keenan was out here earlier in the first video. I had my GoPro on um, and started pushing it around. And we ended up finally getting it in after we um, rehung it off the hoist two different times. But it's in there and it's bolted up. Uh, I just got to add my intake, um, the accessories, and then. Um, I'll put the radiator in and I'll slowly start kind of getting that. I uh, unfortunately only got probably, well, today's Thursday, March 3rd, I think. Yeah. Um, Thursday, March 3rd. So I'm leaving Sunday. I'm going out of town for a week. So it'll just sit here. Nothing will get done on it, unfortunately. But uh, it's in and it's beautiful. I mean, it's dead nut center uh, level looks nice in there what what do you think bud huh look good now huh? hey, uh -huh. so yeah that should be it for now i'll let you kind of we'll kind of figure out you know i was hoping to use my nissan console and all that stuff i had bought a new a new um, five-speed console and all that stuff and it turns out I might not be able to use any of it because that's gonna be where it's gonna live so that's kind of that uh, but I might end up buying the you know moving that shift location back because I don't know if you can see but it's forward of the steering wheel a, a good good eight inches and i'd like it to be at least even with the steering wheel so so i might buy an adapter to move it back but other than that been a pretty pretty good day
pretty good long day.